Yeah. <laughs> um, who was next over here? Whitman. Yeah, Whitman. No, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. I get it. I get it. Okay. Um, I was going to ask you, uh, are they planning to implement uh, distance-based fares in the future? Actually, um, you know, we face some fairly severe budget issues with the loss of state operating funding assistance with the recession. Um, uh, we'll probably be having a discussion on distance-based fares and premium fares next year sometime. Okay. And also, a second question. But, um, uh, are they are they planning to implement the uh, rail-to-rail um, again, like like when Metrolink riders can use their tickets on the on the metro system, or is that not? Don't we do that now? Uh, yeah, I mean, is, are we going to keep doing it, or is that? Our, uh, I'm not aware of proposal. It's not, but I have a Metrolink pass. I use it for riding here. Okay. Well, I came up on Metrolink on the way back on Amtrak. Okay. So we'll keep keep that. As far as I know. <laughs> any, any questions from someone who has not made a question? We got about this two or three minutes ago. Quick question. Uh, a couple of years ago, a 733 Venice rapid bus was at the top of everybody's list. I haven't heard about it in a year. Is it going to happen? I think we're still, st I'm, I'm guessing, um, I don't know all the lines in this system. Right. Um, and it seems to me that, that we're having some dialogue on some options if that if that's a BRT line, right? It would be. It would yeah, be. I think if we 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 may be swapping that out for a different BRT line. I can't remember what it is. Good, because I ride the 33. <laughs> <laughs> if you ever want to see a bus that was at over capacity consistently, ride the 33. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Like All right. Uh, next question. Yeah, I, I want to address. He's not. Also, asked me a question. Because we work together. <laughs> and just to, I want to address the most serious issue facing MTA today, and that is increased retirement benefits. <laughs> <laughs> um, for who? Uh, MTA retirees. Is there a second to the motion? <laughs> <laughs> Dies for lack of a second. Um, I don't you know, there's been a lot of changes over the years. I don't know that we're, we're discussing right now any enhancements. The, the contract we just signed with the bus operators provides for no raises for the current year, no enhanced benefits of any kind. Um, same thing with the non-contract employees in the current budget. We all know that, uh, we all know that the economy is in a, is in a poor state, and we're going to do what we have to do to make sure that uh, our budget is balanced. So Tom, we're not going to give you a raise. <laughs> was there a mention there about the union and the negotiations? Did you come to their conclusions? Or? Well, we, we, we have resolved the issue with the UT. So one union only? Okay, um, any any other questions? Okay, Alex, yeah. uh, gotcha. What would it take to speed up the construction of the subway extension? Because I know other countries can build entire <coughs> lines within five to seven years, but it would take 30 years to build Westwood. Well, I mean, the first subway study on Wilshire was in 1910. So um, my view of progress is a little distorted by that fact. Uh, until fairly recently in Los Angeles, when Tom and I were working together, there was a, in the, you know, less than 20 years ago, there was a major debate and there was major opposition to rail projects in Southern California. And that really did not dissipate until the early to mid 1990s. So in that 15 year period, there's been a change. When I was a bus operator, I used to drive line five, now line 40, that would lay over by Union Station back in the 70s. And I would go into Union Station <coughs> and I would be the only person in there. There was nobody there. Well, that's not the case today. So I accept the frustration that it takes a long time but the fact is we have a number of rail lines now that operate, and a good bus system that operates in Los Angeles County. My wife goes to a dentist from Santa Ana in, in Pasadena on the train. Uh, I did go to the Rose Bowl game when I won the games last year on a train uh, from Orange County. So things are different. You can go to, to North Hollywood. Now, one of the, the, the planning and environmental clearance process in, in the United States is a major challenge. It takes, a, it takes a long time. 
you know, in some countries they don't they don't you know beat around the bush for public input. You know, somebody like me makes a decision and they do it. In the United States, we have these annoying people called citizens, and they have rights. And the CEOs have to go listen to them complain. You know, so so you know we have to go out and get public input input from people who have different ideas about what ought to happen. With Measure R, we are in a good position uh, to put together an aggressive federal outreach program to try to get some money to accelerate that project, and that's exactly what we're recommending to the board. So I'm sorry it takes so long, but we're going to do our best to accelerate it. All right, go ahead, Brad. I've got a few questions. Yeah. Hey, probably the last question. No one else can answer. Raises their hand. Go ahead, Brad. All right, so yeah. I live in South Bay, and uh, so we've got a hodgepodge of everything from municipal operators to the MTA right. to contracted services for the MTA. And in terms of operations, I was wondering, are you going to look into improving, seriously improving contracted line services? That's probably one of the most consistent and laid broken down kind of services that you can expect. And then as far as municipals go, and where I live, it's maybe five to six different operators just in a few cities alone, and there's no synergy between them. You know, you, you look towards Transit Gardena, they don't really talk to each other and things like that, and it makes riding transit in those areas very difficult. So I'm wondering how you really might improve those aspects of well, on your first point about the contracted service, um, um, you believe that's a, you know, offers at a lower quality than the in-house offer? Absolutely. Use? No question. Agreed, yeah. Agreed. Thank you for saying that. I'll follow up on that. 96 and 167 in the valley, if they're not bunched or broke down or something of the nature. One of my employees goes to the Veterans Hospital. Um, she walks to Sepulveda to the 734 bus from the Veterans Hospital because the 167 she can take 25 minutes to walk and there'll be like two of them going the other direction which means you know that they're an hour and a half behind. I'll follow up. I'll follow up on that. The, the Muni stuff is a little bit more difficult. If uh, um, maybe we ought, maybe MTA ought to uh, suggest that we have some joint public meetings down in South Bay with MTA and the Muni's there as well. Your story reminds me, I, I used to joke with people, you know, how do you get from Mount Washington to um, UCLA, very simple, walk from Mount Washington over to 7th Street and then catch a bus, right? Not a very good answer. Well, so. There's two areas we didn't cover that you perhaps, one's on Salto Parada, yeah. and the other one is the Long Range Transportation Plan, to comment on where those two were. I recommended today that for the board that we not exercise the Parada option. Uh, I did that because uh, for a variety of reasons. Uh, we've had some poor performance with, with them, as you know, and uh, we've had negotiations for a few months that I don't think were uh, satisfactory in resolving all the issues that uh, were identified. As regards the long range transportation plan, that will be uh, coming forward in the next couple of months to try to get uh, some consensus. It's important that we get consensus um, so that we can move forward with the, these rail projects and these highway projects and these bus projects. So, Bart, I'm happy to do this every so often, probably not every month, but I'm happy to do it, okay? Well, we'll take a, a pulse and temperature and see if um, you want it back. I have to believe that you're, <laughs> I have to believe that um, you want it back. Um, so we'll see towards the end of the year if you want to do it this year. Um, I think we'll get you back before the long range plan, though. Okay. Um, All right, how about a hamburger?